Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Going Local. This time we're doing the financial edition. And so we're here at Movement Mortgage with Brittany Stokes. Hi. So today we're talking about USDA. Um, Brittany, tell me some of the benefits and features about USDA. USDA is a great government loan that is encouraging people to kind of move from the city out into the, the county. Mm -hmm. um, so it allows you to do 100% financing. And another one of the great features is that the mortgage insurance is lower on it. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're comparing the two, you know, FHA versus the USDA, and that, that's a huge win because that's going to lower your, your actual monthly payment. Correct. It is. Um, and then you're not having to bring 3% or 3.5% to the closing table. Yeah, that's awesome. So this could be a great option if you fall into the categories in which um, would qualify you for a USDA. Okay. So as far as some of the restrictions, what are some of the restrictions there are with USDA? So the restrictions are there is an income limit for the buyer. Mm -hmm. um, we do have to check the USDA website and make sure that the property is in the limits of USDA. Um, and it can't be income producing. So if there's a chicken coop or a large shed that could have like a tractor, anything where they could do business on the property, then it's not going to be eligible. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that, that definitely makes some sense. So I know that we have some testimonies from movement and from others that have shared that USDA loans have been a huge benefit for them because they've been able to finance 100%. They've also been able to go in and negotiate out the closing costs so that they didn't have to pay anything. And they were able to pretty much move into their house for no cost up front. Absolutely. Um, and so I think this can be a great option for anyone that's looking for, you know, minimal down payment, minimum closing cost options to be able to just, you know, start from rent and move straight into a house. Absolutely. So, um, I know with this one, yet again, we talked about this with FHA, but I know that there is a mortgage insurance and I know that you guys can kind of help out with that. So what are some things that you can do to kind of remove the mortgage insurance and what points does that start at? Okay. Um, mortgage insurance is on the life of the loan for USDA. Um, with a conventional, it would be taken off once you get 20% equity in the property. So that's something we can look at once you've getting, gotten that 20% equity. We can look at refinancing to reduce the mortgage insurance or remove it. Perfect. Well, that, I, I think this kind of gives you guys a great uh, synopsis of what the USDA has to offer. I want to thank Brittany for coming on today mm -hmm. and uh, joining us. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to reach out to us, we'll put our contact information in the front and the back of the video for you. Also put it in the descriptions below. Um, if you will, like or subscribe to the video. Also, reach out to us through social media, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, any and all of the above. I'm on every single aspect of social media, and I know that Brittany has mm -hmm. uh, the same. So we want to thank you guys for coming on today and uh, just getting a little bit of an education on some finance. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.